بعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اتي الله اتي الرسول اولى الامر منكم انا اوز ارمان لفا مسافة انا عبدك راجي سدائيف او مسكين وظالم الجهل and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence alhamdulillah holy month of Ramadan has begun and the month of Qur'an, the month of light, the month of Allah's endless and infinite rahmah. As the reality of the entryway of 81, 9 times 9, and <clears throat> the sultan of the month under the realities of the sultanate of 9 and the 81st name of Allah al-Muntaqeem, the one whom avenges. And the 81st name of Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Dhul Fadl, the professor of grace, the, the one whom has grace of Divine grace and rahmah. The 81st Surah of Holy Qur'an, Surat Al-Takhweer and the overwhelming. And the immensity of the Surah all about the overwhelming of uh, Judgment Day and how Allah will bring everything down for the reality of Judgment Day and this is the great reset reality of Ramadan in which our Judgment Day or, or our whole life is like this 12 months in which Allah resets the whole 12 months by the power of Ramadan and returns the servant to a nukht, pure and purified inshaAllah. The hijab of the the tajalli from Allah's dress eternally upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is Subhana man taqara bil qudrati wal baqa. Glory be to him who draws near his omnipotence and immortality. And alhamdulillah, the endless blessings of Laylatul Qadr and the oceans of Qadr and power that Allah is dressing upon this holy month of Ramadan. We pray that Allah dress us from the realities of the first 10 days of Ramadan is Babu Rahmah. That without the mercy opening it would be impossible to even enter into Ramadan and enter into the intention of fasting. It's Allah's, uh, Allah's infinite mercy that He inspires within the souls of His servants that come. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To this action that is basically telling us do nothing. It's just abstain, stop eating, stop talking, stop listening, stop all the bad things that you do in your state of stopping and abstaining, I'm going to dress you from what no eyes have seen and no ears have heard, no states that could be imagined, the realities in which Allah wants to dress His servants. So this is an immense gift an immense reset in our physical life in which this 12 months we've been journeying and every cycle at every point is 12 months from the time we left Ramadan to the time we came back to Ramadan is an immense cleansing. And that Allah's washing all of the badness away, all of the difficulties and bad character and by means of siyam all the dress and blessings that we could have never achieved by any physical action Allah is granting us by abstinence and abstaining. So it's an immense rahmah and this love of Sayyidina Muhammad and love of the prophetic reality because 
Allah wants us to love that which is pure and to live a life through a physical example. If we don't describe the example of Sayyidina Muhammad then what are people to judge a character? Means can they judge it by a divine standard? Then everybody would have their own interpretation. And so awliya come to perfect our faith and say, no judge it by creation and the best of creation because everybody would give an example, oh God wants this from us but who are we, we can't accomplish it. And they make up things in other faiths based on what they believe God's standard is. And for tariqah and Islam but especially for tariqah who upholds the realities of Islam, the golden standard is Sayyidina Muhammad and that we don't deviate and leave from that way and that what we call the, the sunnah and the way of Sayyidina Muhammad it keeps us straight. So that we know the golden standard and the standard in which Allah wants from His servants so that Allah will be happy and to dress the servant is the way that Prophet brought for us as a reality and as a result is a mercy. That when we follow the way of Prophet the example, the love and the character, it dresses us with a mercy from Allah and gives to us our standard. Not what you say and I say and she say and they say but what was the way of Sayyidina Muhammad and try our best to emulate that way of rahmah and mercy as a result of this love and salawats and all of these teachings. Prophet then accompanies those you will be with whom you love. So the best of those to love is the reality of the Prophet of Islam, the Prophet of Allah That when we love his way, love his character and send our salawats and, and make our example about that perfection then our companionship through this gate of Ramadan is the light and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad As a result that's a rahmah. That mercy dresses us and encourages our soul and our body enter into this gate. What appears to be and the fire of Nimrod because every story of the Bible and Qur'an and all holy books they are eternally right now. Means that at every moment in life the devil casts a fire. He wanted to burn Sayyidina Ibrahim so his agents Nebuchadnezzar the king of that time decided to make a fire to burn the Prophet of Islam, to burn the Prophet of Allah Sayyidina Ibrahim But our life has that daily example that anytime we're on the way of Allah shaitan wants to make a fire to burn us. Make a fire that appears to be of a difficulty. And many people look to Ramadan and they say, my gosh how are you going to do that? It's too hard, it's too difficult. Some even people even try to push you to say that it's actually harmful. Did you know fasting that long is not good for you? And every medical advice now is actually saying that's a lie. Fasting is good for you. Now doctors and Dr. Berg and famous Western doctors who have all these TikToks and YouTube actually says that Ramadan is a cure to cancer. That the people who enter annually into Ramadan, it significantly reduces cancerous toxicity within the body because cancers and sicknesses they thrive on sugar and food. So the, the, the ones who eat continuously they have an abundance of sugars and everything in their body. So now even medicine is coming in and say, no actually fasting is great. And if we practice intermittent fasting which was the way of Sufism that you were to eat one time a day. So if you stop eating at 11 o'clock, 9 o'clock and you don't eat again for another 18 hours or 14 hours or 15 hours is what they call intermittent fasting which has a tremendous resetting on the body. When the body is abstaining from food and uh, has the ability to clean itself, protect itself, 
rejuvenate itself means then many, many realities towards that blessing. And that the people whom even come to make a fire and say, no it's difficult, all wrong and all lies. That the reality of this blessing resets the body, purifies the body and infinite reality of what it does upon the soul that can't even be described or understood. So means then everything in our life is about shaitan making a fire for us and it's merely an appearance of fire because he has no ability to make that fire. Shaitan has no ability to punish people. They punish themselves by listening to shaitan, right? Shaitan can't make Ramadan hard, he's tied up. He can't make any fire to burn the servant. His only power is the power of illusion, that he cast an illusion upon a servant's mind and those whom their life is governed by their head and what they call head strong because the nafs is in the head but Allah's in the heart, faith is in the heart. When your life is about your head being strong and your head knowing everything, thinking you know everything, means shaitan is up there in the head of these people. As a result of being headstrong he can cast the illusion and delusion within the mind of people, Ramadan is hard like a fire because we said now will be even more significant. Prophet described the time of Dajjal which is right now, their Messiah will give his coordinates of when he's starting. The time of Dajjal has entered in and now and Prophet described that Dajjal will cast something as a fire, know that it's paradise and he'll tell you something that's paradise know that it's Jahannam and exactly they're doing that now. Come to our way and if you come that way of ease and go that way of whatever Dajjal and their Messiah will be teaching is a path towards Jahannam and hell. And everything they want to say from the way of Sayyidina Muhammad they say it's like a fire, it's hard, don't do it and that's paradise. And all the limit of shaitan is only on the mind, all he can control is the delusion. And if your head's strong you hear it, you believe it and then you'll act upon it and you burned yourself, shaitan has no power. The tariqahs come teach you meditate, do your zikrs, connect with the shaykh, why? activate your heart. The heart is the house of Allah Shaitan can't enter the heart, he's scared of the heart. He's not interested in the power that emanates in the heart because he's scared of Allah The one whom does zikr, the one whom has love of Prophet Allah's within his heart. Allah's not in the brain of the servant, Allah resides within the heart of the servant. If you illuminate the light and illuminate the love of the heart, what happens? It will cast into the head because why? The head is the, the abode of uh, illusions and delusions of casting. But who has the control? If you take control of your heart and your life and your faith then you're the master of the casting, you cast into the head the reality that you've made within your heart, means the heart is the king. The one whom governs his heart and controls his heart, he will cast into the head the truth. That's the rahmah, this love of Prophet love of the Divine, what happens? Cast into the head, this is going to be beautiful, enter into it. Allah makes every difficulty to be of ease. And you enter and immense grace, immense mercy dresses you. And the one whom can't gain control of their head because their head's strong, their nafs, their ego and shaitan is occupying them. And what does shaitan keep casting into the head? Fear. 
you can't go that long without food, you're going to die. What the poor people who are, who are not eating for days and you can't eat for a few hours and you're going to die? It's because the head is strong and you can't uh, activities because you're going to be thirsty because the head is strong. People whom don't and don't have, they go for days, God forbid, without food or water in difficulty. So this is not something real, it's only an illusion and delusion by shaitan. So Ramadan is the big one because it's an immense gate of paradise. And now even Western doctors are agreeing and say, no this is a absolutely no fire, this is a complete blessing. Medically your body will be reset, cellular your body will be reset, sicknesses will be taken just by the power of siyam and fasting. And they try to scientifically prove it but they can't even register the level of barakah and Divine grace. Even scientifically it makes sense to them, they have no idea of Divine Grace and Majesty of what Allah will dress the servants from this immense reality. We pray that Allah give us greater understandings of, of the system of Dajjal, the system of shaitan in which he cast within the head delusions. Our life is about conquering those and regaining control of our heart with our zikr, with our meditation, with our practices. So that you're in control of the heart and that you sit upon the seat of authority. Surah Al-Taqweer will begin to describe that in which Allah you enter into to Ramadan it becomes your judgment day, right? Because he said he's going to destroy the nafs with al-muntaqeem. As soon as you enter into Ramadan the attribute of al-muntaqeem in which Allah begin to avenge. Who he's avenging is your paradise soul that came into this body and shaitan has defecated and destroyed it. And it's God's mercy that I am going to destroy that nafs and destroy shaitan to avenge my servants. And the key of that reality of al-muntaqeem is by Sayyidina Dul Fadl, the one whom brings Allah's grace. Bi Fadl al azim means the one whom brings the immense grace of Allah like a key, he opens this key and Allah's muntaqeem begins to dress upon the servant which is the reality of the right hand and 81 or is left hand 81 depending upon how you read is right hand is eight and one. Al-Muntaqeem the one whom avenges the servant to return them to their pure and purified state of realities. The way Allah created that soul and its beauty and its beatific light like a crystal of pearl. And that shaitan has destroyed and, and corrupted everything about that insan. So as they enter into that rahmah with Prophet opening that gate for the servant, Allah's blessings of al-muntaqeem begin to avenge the servant and destroy the nafs and burn the shaitans. That's the immensity of the power and the power of the reset for Ramadan. We pray that Allah dressed us from the immensities of these lights, give us the strength in which to complete our worshipness in a way that Allah is pleased with our ears, with our eyes, with our sense of touch, with our breath and the last with is the taste in which the reality of taste and the reality of fasting is to open the spiritual taste of all realities. To hear these realities but not taste them is then what we're trying to achieve that, Ya Rabbi want to hear these realities of these teachers and these masters. And I want to taste that reality and each to their level and to the 
the grace of Allah in which dresses their soul, inshaAllah. Subhan rabbika rabbana izzata amma yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.